Uh, let's talk Dallas Cowboys, a game you won't catch live right here on San Antonio Sports Star Sunday afternoon. And we'll talk with a head coach right now of your Dallas Cowboys. He's always brought to you by AA Best Barrick. Bell Bonds, his name is Mike McCarthy. He's here right now. Morning, Coach. Uh, good morning, Rob. Good morning, Rudy. Morning, Coach. How you, how you been, man? How are things going? Is it it's about that time, man? It's go time. How you doing? It's go time, no doubt. No, the weeks are the weeks are cranking by. So no, we're we're excited to, you know, get over there to Washington and and uh, get this twelfth win. That's that's really all the focus. That's that's what we're kind of rolling right into. You know, get back, um, get right back into it. So it was good to have a little time uh, Sunday with the family. But uh, it's been a busy week. Yeah, you got to watch a good game. Oh yeah, no doubt. That was fun. Uh, hey coach uh, yeah yeah before we you know look ahead you've been doing this a long time have you ever been a part of a crazy ending like this past saturday uh i'm sure you've yeah, had some no, crazy I, ones. yeah, I, yeah I, i've been in some wild ones and you know and they come out on both sides so I, I definitely know what that feels like but yeah that was uh that was definitely a, a competitive game it had a lot going on in the game i, I think there was a lot to take away from that game uh, for, for both teams so yeah it was definitely a wild one what, what was your primary takeaway what was your takeaway well i mean take away from the game or yeah, right, your, the game. your personal right. takeaway is the head coach of the cowboys walking on getting the win uh, the resilience of your team uh i, I thought they did a, a great job of just fighting through the ebb and flows of the game there's a number of things that uh, that went wrong for us uh down the stretch and we overcame it um so uh, I think that speaks volumes to, to to our locker room. But you know, I, frankly, I I I think you need I don't know how many, but you need those kind of wins. To yes, win sir. There. You know, and it's it's so important because you talk about playoff preparation. Those games are what you get the most out of. Coach, and you know, during training camp, we're down there in Oxnard with you guys, and you talked a lot about cutting down on the language and getting Dak up to the line in, in time so he can look things over and the, the receiver steps. Which part do you think played the biggest role in Dak cutting his interceptions in half and becoming the touchdown leader this year? Like literally flipping the script from, you know, leading in 90s now to leading in TDs. What thing would you point to that y'all worked on the most that, that was the biggest reason for that turnaround? Well, I think it's it's always a combination of things, but I think you ultimately got to start with Dak. I mean, it's you know at the end of the day, you know, you, there's a lot of support, there's changes, um, you know, there's connection uh, with his teammates, you know, also all those things, you know, the coaching um, changes, and you know, just you know, some of the things that we did in the quarterback room, I think, have been helpful for him. But ultimately, you know, he's the guy out there pulling the trigger. So uh, I just think his his discipline, uh, his his emotional strength to just, you know, always, he's always got his foot on the gas. And I, I admire that about him. So uh, and he's so coachable, but, you know, he, he's, uh, you know, he's as coachable as a veteran quarterback that I've ever been around. You know, uh, you know, he reminds me a lot of Rich Gannon and just mm. you know, as, far as, as far as his approach and just, you know, he's always looking to improve on the little things. And I think that serves, serves, serves him very well. Rich Gannon, uh, yeah, you brought that. That was a blast from the past. I used to use Rich Gannon a lot on Madden coach. Not that you care. I'm just saying it's just funny you brought up Rich Gannon. Uh, he's, he's a great player and and, and a coach. Uh, is, does Dak have it in him to coach? Is that something that he'd be capable of? I'm sorry. Is Dak Prescott the kind of player that could coach? Oh, I think Dak could coach if he wanted to. Yeah, absolutely. Because I mean, I think you know his knowledge base, his experience. Um, you know, and his his ability to relate to people is uh, top notch. Yeah, and he's a uh, you know he's got excellent leadership skills. I, th I think he'd be a great coach. That's a unique thing to have, uh, Coach. Let's focus on on the, you, you talked about Dak and his interception uh, cuts and all that. The, the primary recipient of this has been Ceedee Lamb, and, and I'm really curious when I watch a guy do what he does and what goes on behind the scenes. And I, I'd like you to teach me. A little bit when you know you've got a wide receiver that's going to be doubled, that people's eyes are going to go to him at the beginning of every play, and, and you also know that to get him safe, to get him open, you're going to have to have other guys going. How do you manipulate him uh, to get other guys going so that you can go back to him? Is that a, does that question make sense to you? Well, I mean, yes. I mean, that's that's really what what scheme you know mm -hmm. scheme and game plan is all about. I mean, there's times where you put him in the 
you know, in the primary position. And sometimes you do have to put them in a secondary position just to, you know, answer your question that you just asked. So, I mean, that, that's all part of diversity of, of this offensive system. And, and those are things you do week in and week out. But, you know, on top of all that, you know, CD has, you know, unbelievable physical skills, but, you know, his, his ability mentally and emotionally to handle all the different positions we put it in, in is, is part of the uniqueness uh, of his play because, you know, we, we were able to move him around it's, you know, pretty much in any position, and that's very helpful. Yeah, I know you talked about right before the Detroit game that you felt like that was one of the bigger games, even, you know, going back to the Eagles and San Fran. This one with the ability to, you know, solidify the two seed and be at home where you guys have been fantastic. Did this one jump to the leader of the pack as most important game of the season, Coach? Well, absolutely, Rudy. You know that's the most important game. For the, <laughs> the, the next, next one. Game. The <laughs> next game. So I asked the coach. So that is a fact. Is this big? Because if you if you if you blink on that, you're gonna get you're gonna get punched in the mouth. So yeah, definitely. I mean, this is the most important game because you know everything we have to play for, and um, and that's that's been our approach all week. Uh, you talked a lot over the week uh, about momentum. And you go into a game against uh, a, a commander's team. You know, you've been in, in Dallas long enough. You have had possums in your backyard. You afraid this team going to play possum and jump up and snarl at you at the last minute? I mean, you took care of them pretty easily the first time you saw them. Now on the road and weather and all of that. Possum comes to mind for me, man. I hope they're, they're, they're dying. I hope it's almost over for them. Oh, no, they'll play. I mean, you just, you just go back to last year. I mean, yeah. It's, yeah. It's wrong. Ron has a lot of pride, um, you know. I've, I've known Ron a long time, so yeah. I, would, I know, you know, this we're, we're going down there and we're treating this like a division road game. Uh, we know this is going to, you know, be a juggernaut, and, and frankly, and I hope it is, and because uh, it's, you know, once again, it's another great opportunity to to get battle tested for the playoffs, and, and more importantly, we need to go get a road win. There's a lot that comes out of winning on the road, as, as we know. Go talk about the run defense. There's been a lot made about it as far as you guys and having trouble against the run defense. You are Dan Quinn. I, obviously, you're the head coach, so you oversee everything. But at week 18, are those things that you can actually fix in going forward this late in the season, or it's just, you know, it kind of is what it is and you work around it? I uh, know. I mean, it's, you know, I'm sure it's no different than things in your business. You have things you emphasize every single day, and that's definitely one of them. Right. You know, run defense and and you know the offensive run game, but yeah, I, you know when we look at the games, you know just just take the last three weeks. I mean that's you know part of staying on top of the most important things, your fundamentals and your technique. I mean you know we missed 14 tackles up here in in Buffalo, which you know mm-hmm. which obviously was a big part of the run defense performance that day. And the last two weeks, you know we've we've missed five and four tackles. So you know that's 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 the big difference right now in our run defense. We got to just once again, staying square and, you know, being committed to our gaps. We, you know, we've been a very good tackling team. And, uh, you know, clearly our tackling was a major emphasis coming out of last year or this year. And, and just, you know, from our evaluation, you know, we have improved significantly in that we call it the tackling battle. And that's the combination of breaking tackles versus, you know, missed tackles. Uh, so in the big scope of thing, I'm, uh, you know, as far as the full season, I'm very pleased with the way our team tackles and how many broken tackles we have week in and week out, and you know it's just like anything. This is this is the most important game, and we need to tackle this week, and, and we got we got to break a bunch of tackles too on the offense. You do, chance for three 12 win seasons in a row, coach. Talk about that. Um, to me, that's the you know, it's hard to do. Uh, sustained huh. success is, is difficult. I mean, I, I think I I definitely can recognize and and uh, appreciate you know what our what our players and coaches you know, put into this to accomplish that. Uh, but, you know, I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. I, it's, it's what, it's what we expect. Um, mm. It's, the, you know, it's above the, you know, that's our standard and we want to play above our standard and we feel like we're going to go is, is that's what it's going to take. Mike McCarthy here on our buyer's barricade guest line, joining us for his weekly. Uh, this is kind of a dumb question, but it, you're, you're more than a football coach. You're kind of a CEO here and you come to the end of a season and there's guys playing for incentives and things like that. How aware of that are you of that in the planning for last game of the season? Um, I'm, I'm only aware of it if it's brought to my attention. I mean, it's not something that I jump on a computer. And, Who know, brings it to your attention, at. coach? Do you have a guy assigned to that or is it, you know, them knocking on your door and like, hey, coach, three catches, you know, four no, tackles? It, yeah, it's more, yeah, it, that's something that would more come from, the, you know, the other side of the building, no, no question. But, uh, yeah, I'm, but I'm, 
definitely in tune with the you know with the basics or the, you know the common sense things like it's I feel it's important uh, for us to get Tony, you know, Tony Pollard the thousand yards, and you know he needs sixty-five, so you know he'll clearly have opportunities for that. So you know, I'm I'm, I'm in tune with those things, and um, and I think that's important. I think you you need to give your players those opportunities. Coach, we're both doctors, you and I. How, yes. how is Tyler Smith doing? I mean, I'm, from what I was told, is is better that he fully tore it. Is he okay? Is he going to be a go? Um, I, I tell you, he's, uh, you can never count him out. Number one, cause he, he, he is one tough young man. That's for sure. So, uh, he's getting better every day. Um, you know, really t- tomorrow is going to be the day. I mm-hmm. mean, if he can, uh, he's made progress. I know Britt feels good about, you know, the progress he's making in, in the, in the path that he's on, but it, this, this will be close. And, and, but I would never count him out because, um, you know, he, like I said, he's, he will line up and play pretty much through anything. Coach Mike McCarthy sitting with us. Uh, if you are counting him out, what's the line going to look like? That's why we play the game. <laughs> he knew you weren't going to answer that. I thought I'd slip that in right at the end, Coach. Coach. Give, me, give me credit for that anyway. And oh, Coach, no, no, that's what the 90-minute meeting's for. <laughs> he knew you weren't going to answer the game. that. Yeah. He knew you weren't going to answer that, Coach. Hey, he is head coach Mike McCarthy on the precipice of a possible 12-win season. 36 wins in three years is an extraordinary accomplishment by any measure, and so is 35. We congratulate you on what has been a spectacular season. Offer you a good week of practice, Coach, and as always, stay healthy, and we'll talk to you as soon as we can. All right, you bet. Thank you, Rob. Take care, Rudy. Appreciate Thanks, you guys. Coach. All right, buddy. That all is right. head coach of your Dallas Cowboys sitting on the Byers Barricade guest line as he does all season long.